Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? My name is Shelly and welcome to my channel. It's that time of year. I am so excited for Christmas. It's time to take down all of my fall decorations, put them away and clean and, and so that I can decorate for Christmas. This is my very first Christmas video, so I'm super excited to bring you guys along with me. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you're interested in any of the items that I used in this video, I'll include some of them in the description box, but if I missed anything, leave me a comment down below and I'll get back to you. With that said, welcome to my home and I hope you enjoy this video. story about this mirror it came from South America either Argentina or Chile we're not really too sure it belonged to my dad's uncle and it's vintage my mom said it's about a century old I take really good care of it and I try not to paint it too much other than dust it it's wooden and it looks like it's hand carved so I am so thankful that my mom let me have it it's so beautiful to me and it's the only thing that I have that links me to my Chilean heritage Growing up, we didn't really celebrate Christmas, so I want to make sure that my kids get to experience Christmas. I try to go all out as much as I can so that they can enjoy it, and I also try to involve them in the decorating process so that they'll have memories to look back on and carry on our tradi traditions with their kids one day. My grandma used to decorate every year, and I used to love going to her house and seeing it all lit up. It always brightened the Christmas season. I don't have the same knack that she had, but I do try to do as she did. She always used to set up the day after Thanksgiving. I wasn't able to this year, but I like to carry that tradition in my home. What kind of traditions did you guys do growing up that you still carry on with today?
so excited about these gingerbread kits. The kids really like them, but they were a little overwhelmed with the difficulty skill it takes to make them. The truck didn't make it, and I ended up tossing it because it kept falling apart. I wanted to get another one for this video, but they are more expensive on Amazon, and I wasn't able to make it to Walmart. It's okay though. Next year we can try again. I ended up making fresh royal icing, and it made it a lot easier to decorate, so my oldest was satisfied with his house. I still want to try making one from scratch. When my oldest son was very little, we didn't have a whole lot of money. We lived in a low-income apartment at the time and we basically started off with nothing. And I remember that the apartments were giving away Christmas trees to all of the tenants and they were just very baby mini trees, but it was a Christmas tree to remember. And we were very blessed to be able to get one of them. And they also included a couple of gifts for him as well. So it was a really nice Christmas. And I'll always be grateful for the little that we did have. And I am so blessed to have what we have, even though it might not seem like much to you guys. It's an abundance for us. When I think about how I want more things, I always look back and think, there was a time when we didn't have anything. So I'm happy to share this year's Christmas with y'all. That's the first day? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and open it. What? Nothing. Nothing. You guys already ate it? Yeah. You guys snuck your chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay, Just the kidding. Day. The second day. Okay, so let's open Don't it. open it yet. Go ahead, open it. Okay. Wow. There's your chocolate. Whoa, it's good. Can I eat it? Yeah, it's um, the second day. Um, All right, tomorrow's another day. Yeah, number three. Number three. Yay. All right. We got to change the day. thing, the day. Two. There you go. Second. Yay. There you go. All right, bedtime. PG time. Okay, so I have one last thing to share with you guys. I made these cookies for my husband's coworker. He's gonna give these to his daughters. And um, I did film them. So I will be posting these cookies and how I made them in another video. And I'm also gonna show you how I packaged them. They came out super cute and he really enjoyed them. He thought that they were store-bought. Um, so I'm happy how they came out and I'm excited to share the video with you coming up. So this is going to be it for me today, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Merry Christmas.